I never feel pressure. You know, I just I'm just gonna play my heart out. So, what are you doing to help the younger guys get up to speed? You know, what what can you do? What what was done for you last year? That um, help you get. You know, just emphasizing staying the course. You know, there might be days where you don't feel it. You know, there might be days where you're tired, but you know, we just gotta you gotta push through it because. Um, you know, that one second or that one play you took off, you know, I mean, that can be vital when the uh, end of the season comes. What did you learn about leadership a year ago with, with the Oregon? Um, I, you can't take any days yeah, off. You know, if you're going to say it, you got to lead by example also. You know, um, you can't just be about it and not do it. So, I mean, you can't just talk about it and not do it. So, um, it's definitely uh, more of a focal point on you, you know, uh, in the weight room, on the court, on the track, you know, you can't slap. How have the freshmen been? Have they been receptive to what you guys Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, on the other hand, we're also close in age this year, you know, 19, 20 years old. And, uh, I mean, we can relate. You know, last year, um, you know, we had four seniors, a lot of freshmen. So this year, I feel like we're all going through at the same point in our lives, so they can relate more to us. You guys seemed to make it work last year, but how weird was it having such an old group and then you young guys um, here? You know, I mean, we made it wasn't work. Anything in the, yeah, we made, we made it work, but chemistry-wise, I just feel like this team is just gelling way more than we did. You know, we all live together. Um, you know, um, we go to Ethan together, we wake up together in the same classes. So um, we're around each other 24-7. You know, when we go home, it's it's weird. Like, I miss y'all. Like, <laughs> when can I come back? So, really? Yeah. You think you'd be sick of each other? Yeah. Right? No. Like, if That's you go home for a couple of days, you're like, all right, I'm ready to get back. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, sure. well, can um, you do kind of touch on what you said up there? But can seeing a guy like D'Angelo, what he did last year, mm -hmm. and obviously go to the NBA and play well, is that in any way something you guys can rely on this year in terms of what it takes to, to play well and then win games in the Big Ten? Um, I don't understand. So just seeing D'Angelo kind of play well and at points dominate the league last okay. year and then go to the NBA, mm -hmm. is that a, can that in any way be motivating for you guys this year without oh, I mean, play well? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, um, you know, that's a dream come true, you know. Um, to be so close to your dream at such a high major college, Division One, you know, um, it definitely gives us hope and just motivation to stay in the gym and, you know, the, the wrestle, the wrestle workout, you know, if you, if you really – Put 100 percent in it, and I mean the outcome is going to be great. So. And that makes the team better when when the guys are individually motivated. Like exactly. That. Yeah. Did that episode Does this feel like just with the turnover? I don't know. I forget how many guys left, but you have five new freshmen. You have Trevor and Dave who can play this year. Mm -hmm. Does this feel like kind of a clean slate to, to start uh, over? And definitely. Uh, like I said, whole new team. Um, you know, we're not thinking about anything last year. This is a whole new team, whole new personality, um, and it's a clean slate. And we don't think about what happened last year or the year before that. Um, we're starting this year out right. So. I'm sure you've probably been asked this, but the, the, the new guys who are in, maybe AJ and, and, and Jaquan in particular, mm -hmm. who are going to have to handle the ball, what have you seen from those two guys? Um, they're like confident like with handling Chicago, the ball. Um, Coach Mata has done a, a, a great job um, you get recruiting that players who come in with that confidence. Like you know, freshmen, you know, antsy. You know, these guys are floor generals, and I'm excited. So I trust them. Sorry to cut you off. Could this be more of, I think last year it was like there were probably five or six guys, and then it didn't feel like, and an Opal Tune is probably a dirty word to say in basketball, but could this be a team that, because you had this influx of talent, you have the guys coming back that you could see maybe 10 guys or a group of five or other group of five would come in and play. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, definitely, you know, I feel like everybody on the roster this year can bring something to the table. Um, it just depends on, um, you know, how practice goes, but definitely everybody on this team does something that will benefit us in the game. So. How are you better this year? Um, I'm 10 pounds lighter. Um, <laughs> A little quicker, can jump a little higher, and you know we've been in the weight room, so I'm definitely stronger. And um, you know we put emphasis on my jump shot this summer. You know, I've been working on that a lot. So. I was going to ask just because now you have you have David, you have Trevor, and you have mm -hmm. Daniel. Does does your role as being like last year, you were like a re, your key rebounder, you mm -hmm. were a key defender in the post? Does that change for you at all this year? Um, no, nothing. I just feel like I'm I'm going to be a similar player, but just with more attributes. More, okay, you know. Like I said, developing the jump shot, but um, the 
just that just comes with playing hard, defense, and rebounding, and um, guarding. That's just playing hard. That's not really a key for me. So, thanks. Yep. Can you talk about? I mean, you have a kind of unique situation. You know, you have a father that played on that on the highest level. Mm -hmm. You guys to like the college level. How does that help you? Because I mean, I'm sure he's talking to you and you guys review some things. But how does that help you? Um, it's helped me a lot. You know. Um, he, he's the one that developed me uh, to get here. So, um, you know, sometimes if I'm in a tough spot, he'll call me, or he can. And he always knows how I'm playing. So, um, if you can see what I'm doing wrong or what I can do to help me, he'll call me and tell me. So, you know, parents see everything. So, you don't want to talk too much about last year, but you played a lot last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, this year, new slate, everything like that. What does that mean to you, confidence-wise, knowing that on that level you played when you clearly mm -hmm. thought you could be better, but now you're at this position? What does that mean? Um, like I said, new slate. Uh, you know, I'm always going to be a hungry player. I'm always going to play with a chip on our shoulder, and uh, I, I feel like I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I feel like this team, with our athletic ability and how young we are, we have a good chance of making a, a good run at it. So. Yeah. Uh, even though you're a younger guy, you're kind of an intense guy, emotional guy, does, does that leadership role come easy, I guess, with that um, personality type? I definitely had to work on my emotions and how I expressed them this this uh, this summer. And, I mean, I've made tremendous strides, but, you know, I'm still not perfect. But, um, you know, like, like you said, I'm an emotional type player, and I've just been trying to uh, make sure I express it positively. You know, that'll help my team, so... I heard some of the other guys talk about how close this team is this year. Not that last year's team wasn't, but you guys all lived together. Mm -hmm. How can that help you guys, not just off the court, but on the court as well? I mean, when you know somebody so well and you know what they're going to do before they even do it, I mean, that just speaks for itself, you know. Um, on the court, Jaquan knows that I might cut, you know, that's going to benefit the team, you know. Um, we know our strengths and weaknesses, so that'll also be a better fit us on the, on the court as well. You know, maybe somebody's not as strong of a help side defender, which will in return we'll have to build him up. So.